So if you observe these three footings very well, you can notice the differences between it. All right. Okay. This one is carrying a normal footings. Okay. Column resting on it and the station, this tension is resting on the columns. All right. While this one is carrying a normal footing with pedestal and a column resting on the footing and also the stiff tension resting on the column successfully while this one is carrying footings and pedestal and then the column rests on the pedestal so we'll be looking at how we can actually apply pedestal and the differences between these two all right the difference between these two and why the first method is preferable in this video you are very welcome to this presentation i'm so reason don't forget to like and subscribe let us get started so here is the structure that we want to actually use for this uh presentation okay so i'll be getting right off all of this so that uh, we get started from scratch on how to apply this pedestal mind you this pedestal structure 22 and then this structure has been analyzed successfully and then designed so if i should check that over here system members check and then it will actually come up with the result of the analysis and uh, design successfully just like this okay so you can see here why you are seeing it having this color is because uh, this is this color I'll actually show you at expire the uh an expired analysis okay but before we get started the whole thing we'll have to run analysis again so let's click on okay and then we carry out analysis again so that we won't have that expired uh, analysis uh, symbols all right but by then you have to remove these foundations before you run analysis successfully for that effective analysis okay so i will select this foundation and then i click on the delete right there to get right of that same thing here to get right of this and also this one okay just like this all right so here is the structure to run analysis again i will navigate to the analysis tab and then click on this all right if you notice the analysis is still valid that's why you're seeing this uh, green uh, check here yeah? so i'll click on that and then navigate to the analysis provisions you can see i'm still having a great check but i'll still run the analysis so that we'll have that expired analysis uh, sign okay so analysis is in progress i want to design everything like this the steel columns beams and as well as this uh, steel members uh, okay click uh on that to run the analysis let's give the program some seconds to carry out this analysis successfully So now the analysis is done successfully. So click on the uh, okay options right there. So you can see the analysis completed. Click on closed. So now if you check this, uh, still trust now. Right click and then you navigate to the steel member design right there. So you just have to give it some seconds to be able to you know come up with the uh, steel design uh, dialog just like this. So now you can see it is now in green, meaning uh, this is a a good head analysis result you can see all of the deflection check okay and then the splendorness as well everything has passed okay but that is that is not the uh the aim of the today's uh, presentations today's presentation we are looking at pedestal but i just want to be uh, i don't want to be sure that uh, the structure is uh actually analyzed and the members are designed successfully which we have done that okay so first of all i want to be explaining this to us okay so you can see the anchorage of this uh, stanchion and the anchorage of this one differs okay so there's a setting i did which i will be showing to us okay so this one now is resting directly on the on the level one okay it's anchored on level one while this one is anchored on the column while the column anchored on the uh depth of the foundations okay so uh, if I should navigate to the story right there, right click and click on the edit stories, okay? You will notice that my story one is at uh, 600, okay? Story one is at 600 uh, uh, millimeters, okay? Story one, 600 millimeters, okay? Above the supposed surface of the normal uh, uh, ground level, okay? 600 above the surface of the normal level, while the foundation depth is uh, 1,100, okay? So 1,100 plus 600 is 1.7, which is the total length of this reinforced concrete column, this one, okay? While this one now, rests directly on the on the level one which is the 600 okay that is where this particular column rested and i had it uh, you know uh, support right there fixed support right there for the foundation design okay so i will explain that click on the okay options okay and uh, yes options all right so now we want to be inserting these foundations okay so at first let's use this uh we'll take this to be the first uh, method and this one will be the second method so you select 
on this before then you have to navigate to the uh, story, story zero okay so if you notice here you notice that these columns have not been actually uh, designed successfully but you can do that if you click on this right click and then you come to uh, rc columns walls and design click on this uh, one to get all of the columns in the structure which is the first concrete columns and all the steel so once you have the dialog you can just quickly come to this column batch column design batch mode click on that and then to reselect all bars click on to calculate all right so once the calculation is done you will notice that the, all of the columns were actually designed successfully just like this you can see okay and all of this okay just like this all right so click on the okay options let's proceed so i will select this and by then i have to navigate to the i have to navigate to the foundation which is the story zero okay I have to double click on the story zero to move the grid lines there so yeah it's story zero all right top of story zero okay from this point to this point is the 1100 millimeter depth of foundation so this tension is resting is resting directly on that story zero and i move the support right there okay so i'll select this now right click and then i will insert part footing right there and so a part footing dialog is going to put up and then once it's come up, we will be able to navigate through it and then uh, make some changes depending on what we actually wanted successfully. So this is what we are having. You can see design has failed. You can see it here. Okay, the eccentricity is, is what is actually failing the design, as you can see. But when, once you have this kind of case, what you just need to do, you can see the footing depth here is 600. Okay, so what you just need to do is increase this to maybe 1.3 and see what happens. So you can see 1.3 by 1.3 footing size has actually passed the design. Okay, design is successful. You can see there, yeah, there is no more failure right there. Okay, so now if you want to add a pedestal, so you just have to come to information and activate pedestal. Yeah, so this pedestal we have here is uh, 700 by 700 in the both LS and LY. All right, so if you come to these provisions, you will see it the way it looks. So this is the pedestal in faint color around this uh, uh, color provisions, color provision successfully. So you click on the OK options to insert that with the pedestal. So you have something of this kind. Okay, so this one now is the pedestal. All right, so now I will also be showing us how to apply this pedestal directly on the stand, uh, directly uh, under the stanchion without columns. Okay. And I will tell you, I will be looking at the difference between that and why you should choose this method because this is the method that is best. So if I select this now, I select this now and I right click, I click on each property. I come over to where I have pedestal and then I uncheck add pedestal, I click on OK. You will notice that uh, we have uh, other footings just like this and our column resting on it. Okay, so I'll get back and activate that again. Okay, I'll go to pedestal and then I add pedestal of this. You can increase this. Okay, this LS and LY can be increased. Depends, but for sake of this presentation, we'll go by that. Click on the OK options. And so you have this. Okay, now come over to this provision. Now you will notice that I do not have a reinforced concrete columns here. All right, that actually carrying these uh, steel stanchions. But I want the pedestal only the pedestal to carry this without this reinforced concrete column all right so what i will do is i will just select this steel stanchion right click on it and then i will insert part footings all right so design is successful all right so if i should come to these provisions now you see the art pedestal has been checked all right and the pedestal uh, size here is 503.6 for around 3.2 all right so i can remove this at first and then i click on the okay option now check this in 3d and then you see it just like this all right meaning this distension is resting directly on the supposed to rest directly on the foundations successfully so let's look at how it looks now click on the okay options and you will have this having a distance away from from this distension do you see now this distance away is the depth of the foundations okay which is the 1100 all right so for you to now cut up for this distance you need to add your pedestal okay to cut up for this distance so that the column will rest on the pedestal okay and then the pedestal will be carried by the footings just like this so click on this right click and then click on this uh, property right there so at this point go to pedestal and then add pedestal right there click on the ok options right there so if you first check in 3d you see the way now it looks okay so you will notice that the foundation depth of 
1100 is being actually uh, cut out by this pedestal. So click on the OK options. So you have this. Alright, so you can now see that the pedestal is now carrying the distances and then the footings carrying the pedestal just like this. Okay, now we have actually looked at this and we understood how this works now. I want to be showing us the difference between this one and this one because this pedestal looks like a mass concrete. And then if you check it in proto structure, you notice that there is no reinforcement inside this pedestal. So that is why I said we uh, I normally prefer this method. You see this method to this method. Okay, so how do we check that? Let's go to the view tab right there. Come to 3D uh 3D rebars mode. Okay. So here is the 3D rebar mode. So zoom closely to the columns, you will notice that all of these columns are the reinforcement. Okay, like this one has how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, about eight numbers of reinforcement. Now you can see the difference between this one now, the difference between this one and this one. Okay. Now the difference between it is that this column now has a reinforcement and the pedestal doesn't have to. So that as I said earlier, pedestal is just like a mass concrete in proto structure but if you want to design it in your real life situations there should be a reinforced concrete columns that we uh, sorry a reinforced uh, bars <coughs> sorry there should be a rebar that supposed to actually links the footings bars and the pedestal so that the station can actually be rested on the pedestal uh, successfully so now you see the difference between this and this so i recommend this okay this one will be more stronger where you have your columns so you have an additional mass concrete thickness to the columns just like this which is the pedestal okay so this is how you can actually apply pedestal to your reinforced concrete column and as well apply directly as a means of support to the stanchion just as we did in this provision successfully all right so i believe that uh, you have learned one or two things in this presentation as time goes on we do the complete modeling of the structure analysis and design so don't forget to like don't forget to also subscribe to soft freezing channel give the lesson a thumbs up please and so stay tuned stay connected and then we we'll see in the next presentation stay safe bye for now